Hey guys, Ray and Bob here again with another first look at this uh, new product by Bluetti. It's called the Bluetti X20. Now basically what this is, is this is a laptop designed power bank, almost like a um, power station, but it's designed specially for laptops. It comes with many different uh, adapters and whatnot, so you can have any, probably 99% of the laptops on the market I was reading. Okay, so I, I just checked out this page probably in the last 30 seconds, and I thought, well, I'm going to make a video because... If you guys remember, I made that All Powers S2. Uh, they were nice enough to send us one of these. And I really liked it. What I did like about it was the uh, the AC voltage that came out was uh, under 110. And I was kind of disappointed with that because that's important to keep you know at the voltage that you advertise. So this one, uh, Blue Eddie sent me an advertisement for this one. And I thought, well, let's check it out and see if this is better than that All Powers 200 or if it's worse or the same. Let's kind of, you know, take a first look. Uh, grab a Dr. Pepper and some popcorn and we'll take a first look and see what it has to offer. Okay, so uh, the, the Blue Eddy X20 power bank for a laptop, it's 288 uh, watts on the inverter and then 153.6 watts, uh, watt hours on the battery pack. Uh, Blue Eddy was always one that always gets down to like a tenth of a watt. I always found that very, uh, uh, very bold. Uh, you, you know exactly where your wattage is. It's it's exactly 153.6. You know, not 153, not 154. It's 153.6. So, okay, it says, stay charged anytime effortlessly charge your laptop or other DC devices during remote work, excursion, or camping. Keep your essentials powered and ready so you can focus on what matters most. Okay, so let me make the screen bigger so you can see this guy a little bit. All right, so that's it. I do like, right off the bat, I like that the screen they didn't skimp on. That's nice. It still has the sim, uh, it's a little different, but very similar to the traditional Blue Eddy screen um, as far as how they do their out, uh, you know, their, um, uh, you know, all, all their, their output and input and everything. So let's take a look at this here again. It says universal compatibility with 12 different adapters. The X20 is capable with over 90% of the laptops on the market. All right, so that's basically uh, you know Dell, uh, MSI, uh, probably Lenovo. Uh, I'm assuming anything that uses USB-C, which could be uh, iMac or iBook. Uh, a lot like uh, my new one has a USB-C, so that's really all I need. But it's nice that you have the versatility of having older laptops probably work on there. Uh, I know D Dell has a lot of the market right now, and uh, they have that, that big uh, weird um, uh, barrel on theirs, and uh, this is probably, uh, hopefully it'll have one in there. Uh, it says, uh, enhanced performance, optimized BMS algorithm improves efficiency, while durable lithium iron phosphate batteries offer 2,500 plus charge cycles for a longer lifespan. Now guys, if you're familiar with lithium iron phosphate, they normally get 3,500 uh, cycles, uh, you know, for the uh, percent of, of uh, its lifespan. And if you remember, the All Powers one was a lithium ion battery pack. That's a huge difference because when, now you're gonna be a little bit more weight, very little, but as far as the longevity, um, and the safety. Uh, I'll take lithium iron phosphate over lithium ion any day of the week. So uh, that, that's a plus um, also. Smart cooling, the intelligent fan system admits the battery temperature to, uh, I'm sorry, adjust the battery temperature to prevent overheating and maintain optimal ventilation. So basically, uh, you know, you have a, a uh, system that cools itself so you don't have to worry about, you know, any problems inside. Uh, smart cooling, if you will. Um, here you got uh, bi-directional charging, 100 watt USB-C port allows simultaneously uh, charging and discharging, keeping your devices powered without interruption. Now that's what I like. I'm gonna look through the pictures too, guys. Um, I, I like about it because uh, my laptop, as I said, takes a USB-C port, it's a power delivery port. It takes up to about, I think it's about 45 watts, maybe 40 at the most, so a, a 65, a 60, 65, or 100 watt USB-C power delivery port was perfect for because you have extra if you need it, and uh, you know a little bit uh, if if you don't. That way, it's always there. Uh, so as you can see, their output is very detailed. You have uh, output, output, output. So that's nice. So here's your power delivery port. Here's your DC output, and then here's your uh, USB output. So it has all three of them separate, and then here's your 
uh, it's, I think it's a, this is a PC, <laughs> something input there, um, PQ, uh, oh, PD input, so probably power delivery input as far as how to charge it. It's probably charged by USB-C. We have to see when we get to the bottom of the machine here. Oh, that's the, the three-dimensional. Oh, I like that. Uh, very, very cool, guys, that you can have a three-dimensional look now. Um, here's your ports on the side. So there's your input output of 100 watts. And then here's your DC 20 volt at up to 8 amps output. And then here's your USB-A up to 18 watts. And your USB-A up to is it 2 amps, which would be about 12 watts. So you have two uh, quick charge, I'm sorry, one quick charge 3.0 and then one older style uh, quick charge 2, I guess. Um, that goes up to uh, 12 watts. And then there's nothing else really on it. Uh, a lot of air ventilation holes. I like that because that helps cool it down. I don't see any AC output. Now, on the All Powers one, they had this AC, which is awesome. But remember, it was less than 110. I think it was coming out at like 105 volts, and then it dropped down to like 100 when I put a load on it, um, like a small heater. Um, it was like 100 and, it was 150 watts I was draw, uh, drawing out of there, and it dropped it all the way down to 100 volts, which I did not like that at all. Um, here's the top of it, of course. Uh, very clean pictures. Uh, Blue Eddy is a very big company, so they, they, they do things uh, very correctly a lot of times. Um, let's see here. But, uh, here's your specs. This is uh, actually before we do that, let's see the features. I was on the wrong page here. So here you go. So you got you can connect up to four devices at once. Uh, that's 100. And, we're we're at right around 154 watt hours at 288 watts total output. Um, Lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, 2500 cycles that's kind of weird because I always expect them to be uh, 3500 life cycles 90% uh, of laptops I like the visuals here it helps it out here uh, a, a, a BMS which is your battery management system that's inside there which is nice because that way you don't overcharge or overpower your your system it, it, it uh, takes care of your battery pack and your battery cells for you that's that's nice smart cooling obviously um, looks like looks like a very very expensive looking fan but uh, basically it's just a fan guys um, let's see 100 watt USB-C uh, bi-directional charging and uh, let's see grab and go now th that's a nice thing about this guys the form factor it's very very small and that's another reason why I was looking for something like this either for Mrs. Rambling Bob's bicycle where she could put her electric bike where she could put just something small there that can do uh, maybe a small speaker charging or her phone or something like that on the go and uh, that's why we found this S200 originally uh, let's see here it says uh, specifically designed for laptops uh, X20 delivers up to 160 watts of continuous power for uninterrupted charging with 12 included here. Uh, it's compatible with nice. Okay, so same thing over and over here, guys. Uh, now, here's all the adapters. Wow, guys, that really is an array of adapters. Look, look at this guy. So here's your Lenovo. That's basically the older version. Um, this is the first version Lenovo. Um, w the newest one is a USB-C, uh, at least for mine. Um, the Lenovo and IBM, that's a mix. Uh, and then the uh, Carbon 1s, the ThinkPad Carbon 1s, all start with USB-Cs now uh, since Generation 5 forward. Uh, and then here's another Lenovo. So they have a lot of different versions of Lenovo that I'm not familiar with. I, I, I started with the USB-Cs forward. Um, here's your Dell, Acer, Samsung, Sony. Samsung, Sony says so two different sizes. Um, here's your HP, Acer, Asus, Universal Type, and HP. Um, I like that one. They just throw it in there like anything. 5.5 uh, millimeters by 2.5 millimeters is very universal. There's also another one which is 5 millimeters by 2.1 millimeters. That's also a very universal lug in the DC market. Uh, enjoy a smart... I don't see Alienware, but Alienware is made by Dell. So I'm assuming that uh, Dell and Alienware is going to use the same port. I do have an older Dell. I have an M6800, and I have uh, a, a Dell Alienware uh, R3 and an R5, and they do have all the same port on there. So I, I can confirm that. I actually have it in front of me here. Um, let's see here. Um, enjoy a smart, powered-up lifestyle as all your devices stay fully charged for any time use during uh, outdoor adventures or emergency situations. Laptop 
limited power to 160 so guys basically if, if you have a laptop and it does not have a video card like uh, my alienware uh, r5 would probably draw way too much power because it draws up to i think 300 when it's maxed out and just under 300 when it's maxed out so that would not be a good for uh, a little power station or a power bank like this because you're drawing too much power out you're gonna uh, throttle your laptop because if you can't get the power in your laptop to get to your both processor and your video card as well as your screen and everything then the games that you play will actually throttle down and slow down uh, it's kind of like a car that's not getting enough gas or a car that's not getting enough power output it'll slow down um, think of it this way if you're on the freeway and your car starts to overheat notice that when it uh, overheats too far too far uh, you get that thermal reaction and your your car literally will slow down until it pulls off to the side of the road and stalls and then you see it overheat on the side of the road so you don't want to do that with a power bank guys that would that would not end up uh, too good here um, so max output is 160 watts it does have the asterisk here it's 20 volts at 8 amps guys so basically remember that uh, you have to come out at 160 or less so if you have one of those big super laptops I, I don't recommend something like this for that featuring multiple ports the x20 allows you to charge your laptop smartphone and more all at once stay productive and capture those unforgettable moments with the confidence that your devices are at the ready and by your side so there you go that's the thing that you got a tablet here um, here's a phone a laptop and then this looks like an iMac so basically you have see now that's plenty for me guys because I like I said I only need about 40 maybe 40 watts absolute max 45 maybe I've never seen it go that high but uh, I, on a, um, a, a bigger uh, processor then it would pull a little bit more power of course but you have up to 160 watt DC this would be perfect for me because this is exactly what I was looking for uh, for uh, running that and prolonging that laptop that I have uh, for uh, camping fishing trips and things like that and that way you don't have to lug a, a, a whole power station with you you can just kind of take a smaller one and then other than um, this lithium ion uh, like I don't need the AC port so a lot of people do need an AC port on their power bank but um, I don't it's nice to have though it is really nice to have because you never know what you're gonna bring or what you're gonna power uh, a lot of times you bring a power station or a power bank if you will and you end up powering something because your friend brought something or you know you want to you know cook or you know I don't think you can cook on this one but you know what I mean you're always gonna bring something like a a, a small a water heater or something like that for for coffee or something like that or so someone will have their phone with them or you know it could be anything like here see you got your switch or your headphones I mean you have all different little uh, electronic devices that you bring with you when you go out uh, or fans see a mini fan over here or speaker uh, when you go camping or fishing or something uh, like th this young fella is just literally sitting on the side of a riverbank with uh, no fishing pole that I can see but he's playing video games next to a river which I've never done but you know to each their own <laughs> that could be a very enjoyable day as far as your backdrop is a beautiful river behind you uh, thanks to the proprietary BMS system which stands for battery management system guys uh, just in case uh, we have any new people here uh, the algorithm the x20 offers a high efficiency uh, offers high energy efficiency than ever uh, every single charge provides up to 16 hours of continuous output for your devices so you're not constantly looking for an outlet so now that that's that's the key guys is you don't have to go and um, you know uh, refill all the time if you will you know imagine if you were you know racing in a, in a race with a car and every couple laps you have to put gas in the car you know they, they they try to get you as many laps as you can without having to refill obviously so it doesn't interrupt your your activity there the x20 has been certified with ul fcc lvd emc uh, pse and rcm those are all the certifications basically uh, it's equipped with advanced lithium iron phosphate batteries I like that uh, that uh, offer optimal safety and over 2500 charge cycles that's what I got a question for is I wonder how come it only goes up to 2500 charge cycles rather than a traditional 3500 uh, or even 3000 uh, charge cycles that most Blue Eddies have there there must be a reason uh, what's more the built-in cooling fan protects the X20 from overheating even under heavy loads or during fast charging or discharging okay so let's see what we got here 
Uh, that's about the size of it, guys. It kind of looks like a, it. It definitely looks bigger than the um, the uh, uh, S two hundred. I do like the form factor of this. Um, oh, and, oh, this also has wireless charging on the top too, guys. Look at that. I forgot to mention that because I don't do wireless charging. That's for the wife. Uh, she enjoys that with her phone and her earbud things. Uh, this one doesn't seem to have it. I don't see any logos up there. We won't know until we get to the, um, uh, the, the, the the tech specs here and take a look here. Um, here's how you could charge it. Basically, you can use like a, what we call a GAN-GAN charger or uh, anything that probably delivers up to uh, 20 watts, up probably uh, 20, uh, 20 volts up to 5 amps, which is uh, up uh, 100 watts in. Uh, we'll have to wait and see in the specs there. So you can charge it up to probably 100 watts, and then you can uh, pull out up to 100 watts of the USB-C. And that's, like I said, that's what I've been looking for, is something very small that can utilize a USB-C port, uh, power delivery port. Now, this is the Blue Eddy Lifestyle fridge. We have many of those. Um, very fun little product. Uh, but this consumes about 35 to 45 watts, depending on... Uh, the usage there there is a heater mode and then there's a cooling mode so they have different uh, power uh, let's see here other towel because that's other stuff here guys and then that's the bottom so now we're going to look at the tech specs this is my favorite part um, this goes right into like the the uh, the battery st uh, uh, stats like a baseball player on a baseball card here let's make this smaller here okay so your battery capacity once again 153.6 watt hours very brave to do that guys 448,000 milliamp hours um, lithium iron phosphate batteries now it's five pounds so if you look at it seems kind of heavy but let's see what theirs was I can't remember um, size that way yeah see 2.87 pounds so that's double the weight of the s200 but remember these are lithium iron phosphate batteries much safer and a little bit heavier um, but no AC inverter out, so that's uh, one thing I would like to have, or uh, no um, wireless charging for your phones, too. Um, let's see here. All traditional temperatures, 32 to 104, that's traditional for lithium iron phosphate. You can use them and store them down to negative 4 degrees uh, Fahrenheit up to 104, so that's traditional of what I know. Working humidity is 10% to 90, so that's almost the entire spectrum. 90% being almost 100% rain, of course, and then 10% being a very desert, dry environment. Um, the noise is 45 decibels. To give you an idea what 45 decibels is, guys, a whisper is like 45 decibels. So it's about that quiet uh, with the fan running, I assume, and everything. Now here's your DC output. So your DC093 port is 20 volts up to 8 amps. That's up to 160 watts max. Um, very cool, very cool that you can bring you know that much out of a barrel. Um, and then here's USB A. This is a 2.1 amp. Uh, it says 10.5 watts max. Normally that's uh, yeah, usually that's about 12. But I, I figure with the conversion and everything, um, you get 10.5 uh, watts only on that, which is a very slow charge, guys. But it, it it's doable. It's doable. But I like this one here. These are quick charge 3.0s. I call these quick charge two, even though I don't think it really has a name. I just kind of uh, just for uh, e easy remembering sake. And then here you got 5 volt, 12 volt, or 9 volt. Uh, oh, so it, guys, it does not have. Uh, this would not be good for me. This. Oh no, wait. I'm sorry, this is the USB-A. Okay, I was looking for the 20 volt out. Um, so this is uh, up to 12 volt, 1.5 amp, uh, 18 watt max. That's traditional for quick charge. This is the one I was looking for, guys, which is the USB uh, power delivery port, uh, 5, 9, 12, 15, and then that's the one I was looking for. If I bring out anything less than 20 volts DC, I cannot charge my, uh, my, uh, my laptop. It won't accept it. Um, and then here's your 20 volts at 5 amps, which equal 100, um, uh, 100 watts. And then this e-marker built-in chip uh, is nice because that means you can use uh, a, a regular cord probably because the, um, the power uh, has a uh, flow. And if you don't have a special cord, you know, you can't get that 100 watts out. So that's something that I would be looking at. Uh, here's your DC input. Uh, your uh, uh, input is a USB-C up to 100 watts max uh, at 5 amps, 
5 to 20, which is basically the same thing as the out, of course, except that's in for charging. And then in the box, you get all this fancy stuff. So here you get a 20 volt by 8 amp. This is a barrel plug that you get. Uh, let me see if I can get this big. Let's just get this. There you go. Okay, so this is a barrel, which is a um, 55 25 on the charging side, uh, or vice versa. Let's see if I can. Um, let's see if I can see the barrel here, guys. I'll have to go up in a minute. And then here's your your 100 watt cable. So I like that. Um, special cables usually only allow 100 watts in or out. So that's nice that they they give you a cable too. Um, I don't know if that is a specific 100 watt cable or it has the chip in there to allow the energy to flow usually it takes the cable but maybe they have something in there where if you lost this cable you can replace it with another cable that's standard and get up to 100 watts out i don't think so but uh it's possible we would have to wait till we see the product here um, i want to see the ports again and i want to see if the bigger barrel i think it's a 9.3 uh and then a 55 25 i don't oh you know what let's go to that it wasn't the best picture guys but that three-dimensional one here where you can turn it. It's got a load here. There you go. All right, so we're going to make it bigger here. And then we're going to turn it. There we go. So uh, it does look like the bigger one is on. So the the, the, the 9 millimeter port is going to be on the power station because that's much bigger than a USB uh, A port almost as far as the height. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. This is the Bluetti X20 power bank for laptops. Would I buy it? I would. Um, do I recommend it? What I do like about it, I like the form factor. Five pounds is obviously a lot heavier than what we have right now with this one. But see, this has that lithium ion battery pack. So as far as battery pack, safer. As far as I love it because it has that traditional kind of blue eddy look to it. Uh, it's a little blurry here. I apologize for that. Um, that's uh, there we go. Uh, it's kind of their pictures. Um, I don't like that it has. It's missing the AC and the wireless charging. For me, that makes no difference. As I said, I would like to have them as options, but I don't use them usually ever. Uh, the AC, if rarely, uh, on a very small power station like that. Um, but it would be nice for uh, Mrs. Ramley Bob to charge her her phone without having to, you know, um, modify it. You know, adapter to adapter to adapter that kind of thing. Um, that way she can use it straight out. I do like that uh, uh, it, it, it is a Blue Eddy product because Blue Eddy is a much bigger company and uh, they stand behind their products pretty good. And they have the live stream too. What's nice about that is if you have a question, uh, there's a guy named Tim. He's a really nice guy and he does live streams like twice a week. And you can actually go on a live stream and get real time conversation. And that's very helpful if you're new in power stations or power banks and you have just even a basic question is very difficult if you don't know the answer for it. So, you know, will this work? What size pin does this uh, laptop, you know, use? Am I going to be able to utilize this product if I spent you know two hundred dollars on this product so th that is that is a very nice thing over uh, most companies probably 99 percent of companies that uh, I know EcoFlow has a live stream as well where you can go right to it Jackery also has one where you can actually go and ask a question in real time um, so learning about this stuff guys when we first learned was very difficult because you had a lot of people that was just kind of pushing products on you but after you get it, they kind of disappeared if you had a question. So what we do is we show you the products, anything that I find that's new. And then I'm always here, or Mrs. Ramley Bob is always here. If you have a question, either we try to find an answer for you as part of the Scriber family, or we steer you in the right direction so you can you know, acquire that right uh, uh, information for you know your 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 uh, issue or your problem or your situation. And I think that's where... Um, uh, th this scriber family really shines is if you have a you know question or problem they're they're very quick to help you so uh very the very cool part about it all right if you're not a scriber guys go ahead and uh hit the scriber button now join it. it's free all you got to do is hang out watch a couple of videos learn some stuff or bring your knowledge to the table and help other people we're trying to make that community where everybody can learn this so we can all enjoy our favorite hobby together which is solar power this basically is solar power you could probably get a very small 60 or 100 watt panel that has USB-C junction box out that's built into the panel which ironically this one does come with um, it has uh, a little uh, a USB or barrel output that you could 
bring from here into the power station and charge it that way. I don't know if Blue Eddy has one that comes with it. It doesn't show it here, but if you look at their products, they do have um, here solar panels. They do have very, very small solar panels, I believe. Let's see. Oh, we lost. Uh, here, view all. Just got to wait for the inner materials. So obviously these are these are far too big for this thing. Uh, I believe that they make smaller ones. Let me see. I always thought they did. 200, 300. Oh, maybe they don't. Wow. I always thought that they had like little 50 and 100 watt panels. 120 watt, but I think that that, that might be okay depending on if it has the, the proper output, guys. Wow, they only make uh, 100 and, 120 watts and up now. Wow, okay. I um, I was, I was maybe that was older products, but I, I do, I, I thought I remember them having little tiny uh, uh, solar panels that would that would work with this. What you have to do is you have to see if it's got a junction box on it. Otherwise, they come out in MC4, which is, eh, it's, it's kind of a headache to, to convert that to barrel. Yes, yeah, I don't see. No, I don't see. It, it would it would be inside this little pouch, guys. Here. Let's uh, let's try to get uh, right. So it would be inside this little pouch there, a little USB box. Let's see if it has it. If there's any pictures here? No, it looks like a barrel. Yeah, but you're charging on this one is a USB C input, and it didn't say that the DC input uh, was on there, so you had to use the USB C. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't see. It. All right, guys. So maybe they don't. I always thought that they had little power stations. So you would have to use uh, or utilize rather than something like this you'd have to utilize uh, AC or something like that or another DC form which is USB-C uh, if you have a solar panel that uh, that can uh, bring out a USB-C to charge up that power station alright guys I'm gonna leave it at that check it out if you want the links down in the bottom if you want to take a look at it feel free and if you want to discuss this product I'd love to hear what you say uh, things that you like about it things you don't like about it feel free all right, guys, ramble out, be safe, and I love to talk to you guys again here on Rambling Bob Reviews. Bye.